Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. You've met our next guest many times before, she, but she's doing something to celebrate the moms. Yeah, absolutely. Miru Dalwala joining us, co-owner of Vidges and Rangoli, and we are talking about food, not as foodies, not really not as, as chefs or no. restaurateurs As home today. cooks. As home cooks. As home cooks. Tell us yeah. about this concept that, that you sort of came up with, because it really resonated when I, when I read about it. Well, uh, first of all, we're calling it joy of feeding because sometimes when you're coming home at the end of the day at six o'clock, cooking isn't fun. It's a pain yeah. in the butt, all right? And so the joy actually comes from, all right, whatever I've done, I've cooked, and you're sitting at the table with your kids, your partner, your family is sitting at the table. The actual joy comes when you're eating it. Yeah. Right? Good the call. joy comes when you're yeah. actually watching, like, yes, my kids are eating okay tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you know what? My husband and I, we're sitting together. We're having and a good meal. And that's when you can relax. That's when you can relax, and that's where the joy comes. It was Mary McKay of Terra Breads, who's um, organizing the event with me. Yeah. She came up with that, of joy of feeding. Yeah. And she said, you know what? For me, Miro, it's not just me feeding my kids. You know, I'm older now, I have elderly parents, it's also me mm -hmm. feeding my elderly parents as well. Well, let's talk and about the event. You mentioned Mary being the organizer. Tell us about the event and how it works. So basically, we're, it's 15 moms, 15 heritages, and it's a fundraiser for UBC Farm. But the point is that we women, you know, starting in the late 60s, early 70s, we started our careers, great thing, you yeah. know, wanted to have more goals in life than stay at home. Yeah. But um, one thing that we did, along with ditching the housework and the dishes, which actually don't really ditch, we just want to ditch, um, <laughs> right? You know, yeah. cooking went down that same route. Yeah. And, and and my point is now here I am. I'm a working mom. I work full time. I've got this great career. I've got a family. The one thing that actually brings me a lot of pride is um, I come fat. home and and for me cooking it's nurturing my kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. Believe me, I cook all day. Sometimes the last thing in the world yeah. I want to do is chop I another onion. I can't imagine for oh, you. You're I just cooking look, all day. But the one thing that you stove. also want to do is make but, sure your kids but, are healthy. But cooking isn't a chore. It's you know what? That's how you're going to nurture. And yeah. the other thing is environmentally, right? We're mm -hmm. always talking about climate change and all. Um, cooking, uh, cooking. I'm saying eating is that one environmental act that we all have control over. Mm -hmm. So whether you're doing takeout. Right, and you're taking those boxes and you're yeah, just yeah. tossing them in the plastic, landfill and plastic and, and all yeah. that. Or if you're chopping up your own bell peppers and taking the time, you're not polluting your body and you're polluting the planet less as well. I well, let's get started so, into, uh, with the cooking, Miru. What are we making today? She's making something so easy, even so we're I making, can do yeah, it. Yeah, we are. We're actually making something <laughs> so easy. It's the it's the red bell pepper and sumac saute. Okay. And the reason I'm calling it the saute is once we make this and it's so easy, you put it on top of anything. Anything. You make it. You put it in your refrigerator. You can put it on stale. Bread and stale you're good white to go. bread. Put, the, put on stale white bread. Toast it up. That's also my nickname, by the so, way. But that's no. all right. Okay, stale white bread. He's so, going to do the chopping here. Yeah. So just Michael, like that. You, just like this, you're going to do the okay. chopping. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually. So what oh, I've done is, is I've already sautéed the onions for you. You know you're dealing with so something serious. So how have you sautéed the onions uh, for and with what? They smell so good. Okay, it's just red onions. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I've chopped them up nice and finely, but if you don't have the inclination to chop them up this finely, you don't have to. No. Just, just chop the onions however you know how. Uh, Same thing with the bell and peppers. And make sure you really. use the ends. And use That's the ends. <laughs> That's right. I've made sure that we use the ends. Why, why the ends? Is that a, is that a pet peeve? No, just, well, why toss it? I know. Right? Why <laughs> toss it? It's it's perfectly good food. But so people still do that red all the pepper. Time. Yeah. Um, green bell peppers are actually healthier than the red ones. Why is that? Now, is it just different stages of ripeness when we see the green, yellow, orange, and red? Is that what it is? It's just different. Uh, it's just, they've just got different um, vitamins, vitamins flavonoids. So these yeah. are the best for you. So the these are the best for you. Uh, these are the sweeter ones as well. Mm -hmm. So what I do is um, I just mix them up. Okay. All right. I just mix them. And this recipe really is so once you saute the onions, what you're going to do is put everything in here together. Everything, the salt, the sumac. Let's do it. And oh, a well, little that bit is of nice and easy. Pepper. Like just the fact so. that it's sort of that one pot cooking, right? Yeah. So, what when is sumac? The the We've day. got some here, but what is it? Sumac is a Middle Eastern spice, mm -hmm. and you're not really, you don't really cook it that much. It's a little bit like pomegranate, like dried pomegranate. It gives a little bit of a tart. Uh, flavor. Yeah, but it's sweet it's a, at the same time. It's with a the little tart and sweet. It's yeah. the Indian equivalent of pomegranate spice. And, Interesting. Um, so do I put all of it in? Um, no, I, mean, I wouldn't put all of it. Put it like a tablespoon's <laughs> worth. <laughs> That's one. Uh, I like That's the shake, shake. About a tablespoon. Uh, how much of the pepper? Just a little dash. So That's good. Mira, when people get tickets, I would to measure this, the salt. Uh, just to make sure. This like event, it. Joy Feeding, uh, they also get a uh, they get a cookbook. That so goes what you get for your ticket is you get a full recipe book with the mom's photograph, the mom's story, the mom's recipe. How nice. And um, the food there, so Amy Robertson has all, is also helping to co-organize the event, and she's sourcing all the foods. All the meats, chicken, everything is local and organic. Um, Whole Foods, <laughs> Choices, Pro Organics, Fujia Foods have done an amazing job donating all the food. So 
for the, what you're getting is you're getting real food, you no pesticides. Talk. I got work to do. You got to stir? stir up. <laughs> and put some salt in there. Oh. I didn't do the salt. Okay, that's okay, how much salt do you want? I like a teaspoon. Uh, there we go. Somewhere around there. Perfect. And just stir it up. And that's Woo! It. Oh, you spilled some like that. Uh, sorry. Uh, well, and, and obviously, you know, you've got all these concepts along there as well, but having a woman of different nationalities, I mean, food is international, and that idea of cooking for your family is something that goes and through all cultures. And that's what brought the moms together. Mm -hmm. So we've got, we've got mom from Brazil, we've got mom from Zimbabwe, we've got mom from Philippines, we've got working moms, we've got moms who have chosen to stay at home. Not forced, but they have, yeah. you know, they've made that, they've conscious, made that decision. conscious decision. Yeah. We have mom from Japan, or Japanese heritage, Chinese heritage, <laughs> And they are real mums, mm -hmm. not pretending. Real life mums. <laughs> but what a great way to learn about home. other cultures and other cuisine. And other, but I mean, cultures what, at the same what other time, time are you going to get a chance yeah. to actually taste real food yeah. from all these real backgrounds? Okay. And the food is food that they make yeah. that makes their kids smile. Well, and sharing those stories about uh, family meal times because yeah. you always feel. I mean. I've got three kids, you've got kids. It's, yeah. it's mealtime sometimes chaos, especially yeah, when yeah. they're young, right? Yeah, but it's yeah. really nice when you hear those stories from other people to understand that it's the same in every house, well, man. It, it, like, you know, <laughs> the mom from Zimbabwe, Manyara, when, you know, when all of the moms got together, she said, she goes, you know, I honestly don't know if I'm a good cook or not, <laughs> right? <laughs> all I know is that I cook like my mom cooked back at home. And yeah. the kids eat it. From the heart. Yeah, That's beautiful. It. And how are we gonna plate this up? So, like I said, you can put this on bread, but I have here some uh, grilled chicken. And it Which looks really smells good. Really and good. it's just literally salt and pepper nice. and oil rub grilled on the barbecue. And The barbecue makes it better. Barbecue does make it better. As soon as that's done, you can just top it on the chicken and eat it. Not or, quite done yet, ladies. Are you telling Mira how to cook? Wait, wait, wait. Now it's done. All okay. right. Okay. Well, we're playing out. I'm going to tell you that the joy of feeding is happening May the 15th, one o'clock at UBC Farm. It. 15 Canadian moms of various heritages will share their cuisine, stories, and cultures. With proceeds going Oops. to benefit environmental programs at UBC Farm. You can go to the website for more information to find out more. It smells so good in yep. here. Joyoffeeding.com. Joyoffeeding.com. It's on the screen yep. for you right now. We're going to take a quick break. Thank you. Have Thank a snack, and when much. we return, uh, some music from the land of Deborah. Don't go away. And lunchtime. Delicious. <laughs>